This is the JLG 800 AJ. This is an 80 foot articulating boom with jib. Those who intend to use any machine with characteristics of weight, height, width, length or complexity, which differ significantly to the training they have received, should ensure that they receive a familiarisation to cover the differences. It is the employer's responsibility to ensure that all operators using equipment are adequately trained and familiarised to comply with current health and safety legislation. Machine specific familiarisation should follow on from basic training and cover the manufacturer's instructions and warnings, features of the specific model, control functions, safety devices and emergency lowering procedures. All of the above are to be found in the operator's manual supplied with the machine. Maximum platform height 24.38 meters. Maximum working height 26.38 meters. Maximum horizontal outreach 15.8 meters. Up and over clearance is 9.78 meters. The platform capacity unrestricted is 230 kilograms. Gradeability for two wheel drive machines 30%, for four wheel drive machines 45%. The weight of the machine can differ with optional accessories fitted. Please refer to the serial plate on the chassis. Carry out your pre use inspection prior to using the machine. Ensure the machine is in date and that the serial number corresponds with the serial number located on the chassis. Be sure that the operator's safety and responsibilities manuals are complete, legible and in the storage container locked in the platform. Decals are located around the machine. Familiarise yourself with the different decals ensuring that you understand items such as safe working load, wind speeds, floor loadings, crushing points. Before checking any batteries ensure that you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment. Check for hydraulic oil leaks and proper oil levels. Check for engine oil leaks and proper oil level. Check the following components or areas for damage, improperly installed or missing parts and any unauthorised modifications. Electrical components, wiring and electrical cables. Hydraulic hoses, fittings, cylinders and manifolds. Drive and turntable motors and drive hubs. Wear pads. Tyres and wheels. The type of tyre fitted is a foam filled tyre. This will be indicated by a bolt opposite the valve in the tyre engines and related components, rotation sensors, steer and axle sensors, alarms and beacons, nuts, bolts and other fasteners, lanyard anchorage points. Number one, platform rotate switch. Two, platform leveling override switch. Three, jib switch. 4. Power or red emergency stop button 5. Engine start or emergency auxiliary power or engine start, emergency auxiliary power or function enable switch 6. Tower telescope switch 7. Hour meter 8. Platform, off and ground select switch 9. Swing switch 10. Tower lift switch. 11. Main boom lift switch. 12. Main boom telescope switch. Ground control indicator panel. Number 1. Battery charging. 2. Low engine oil pressure. 3. High engine water temperature. 4. High engine oil temperature. 5. Engine malfunction indicator. 6. Low fuel 7. Glow plug 8. 
boom malfunction. 9. Platform overload. 10. Hydraulic filter bypass. 11. Transmission filter bypass. 12. Engine air filter bypass. One, red emergency stop button. 14, engine start, emergency auxiliary power. 11, fuel select. 17, drive orientation override. Five, drive and steer controller. Four, telescope switch. 12, lights if fitted. 10, Articulating jib. 18. Soft touch override. 15. Tower telescope. 16. Tower lift. 19. Soft touch indicator. 8. Platform rotate. 6. Function speed control. 3. Main lift and swing controller. 7. Drive speed, torque select. 13. Steer select. 9. Platform level override. 2. Horn. The platform control indicator panel uses different shaped symbols to alert the operator to different types of operating situations that can arise. These can be hexagon, triangle and square. Please refer to the operator's manual to ensure that you understand the severity of these symbols. Tilt alarm warning light. This orange illuminator indicates that the chassis is on a slope which is over 5 degrees. If tilt warning light is illuminated when the boom is raised or extended Retract and lower to below horizontal, then reposition the machine so that it is level before extending boom or raising the boom again. Creep speed indicator. When illuminated, the function speed control is turned into the creep position. The indicator acts as a reminder that all functions are set to the slowest speed. Overload indicator. This indicates that the platform has been overloaded. Capacity indicator. This indicates the maximum platform capacity for the current position of the platform. Restricted capacities are permitted at restricted platform positions. Refer to the decals on the machine for restricted and unrestricted platform capacities. Once you have carried out your walk around inspection, Perform a functional check of all systems in an area which is free of overhead and ground level obstructions. If the machine does not operate properly, isolate, tag and report the machine. The ground control station has a platform ground select switch. This is a three position key operated switch which supplies power to the platform or the ground controls. With the key held in the ground position, Power is shut off to the platform and only ground controls are operable. With the select switch in the centre position, power is shut off to the controls at both operating stations. At the ground control panel, put the key into the key switch and turn the key to the ground control position. Pull out the emergency stop. When the emergency stop is pulled out, the platform console will light up. Push in the emergency stop and the platform console should switch off. Pull out the emergency stop and with the key positioned to the ground controls, the glow plug indicator illuminates. When illuminated, the glow plugs are operating. Wait until the light goes out before starting the engine. It is imperative that at the ground control station that all functions are operated to ensure that they are operating correctly. Elevate the machine using the controls, lift the lower boom, rotate the turret, operate the jib, 
operate the platform. Daily functional check of the tower boom sequence is located in the manual. Please refer to this section to ensure that you fully carry out this check and that you understand the procedure. Before operating the machine, make sure the upper boom is positioned over the rear axle. If the boom is over the front axle, which is the steer wheels, steer and drive controls will move in the opposite direction. Always ensure that the machine is orientated round correctly before you drive. To activate auxiliary power from the ground control station, turn the key to the ground control position, pull out emergency stop. Operate the appropriate control switch or controller for the desired function and hold. Now hold down the auxiliary power button. This will now allow the machine to lower. If you let go of the auxiliary power switch, the machine will stop. Standing in the platform, ensure that you are wearing your harness and that the carabiner is attached to the anchorage point inside the platform. The drive control lever has a safety device fitted to it. This is a collar under the drive control lever. To allow the drive controller to move in a forward or rearward direction, first locate the black and white orientation arrows on both the chassis and the platform controls. Ensure that you understand which way round your machine is facing. To drive, put your foot on the foot switch, lift the collar and push the drive lever forward or backwards. To steer the machine, lift the collar and use the button on the top of the drive control joystick to move left or right. Do not drive on side slopes which exceed 5 degrees. To operate any function in the platform, the foot switch must be depressed and the function selected within 7 seconds. The enable indicator on the panel shows that the controls are enabled. If a function is not selected within 7 seconds, the enable light will go out and the foot switch must be released and depressed again to enable the controls. Please note, releasing the foot switch removes power from all control and applies the drive brakes. Soft touch indicator. When illuminated, the soft touch bumper is against an object. All controls are disabled until the override button is pushed, at which time controls are active in creep mode only. Oscillating axle lockout test. Ensure the boom is fully retracted, lowered and centred between the drive wheels. Place a 6 inch 15 cm high block in front of the left wheel. From the control platform, start the engine and drive up onto the block. Carefully rotate the turret and position the boom over the side of the machine. With the boom over the right side of the machine, place the drive control lever in reverse and drive the machine off the block. Have an assistant check to see that the left front or right rear wheel remains elevated in a position off the ground. Carefully rotate the turret back to the centre position. When the boom reaches the centre stowed position, Lockout cylinders should release and allow the wheel to rest to the ground. Please note it may be necessary to drive the machine to release the cylinder. Carry out this test on both sides of the machine. Depress and hold the foot switch and hold the auxiliary power button down. Now use the boom control lever to bring the boom control down. The machine will now lower. Release auxiliary power switch and the machine will now stop. Push in emergency stop.
The SkyGuard system is designed as an enhanced control panel protection. When activated, the system stops the functions in use at the time of the activation and also activates the horn. In some cases, the function in use at the time of activation will also be momentarily reversed. The system activates when the sensor bar in the platform experiences a force of approximately 22.7 kilograms or 50 pounds. Excessive force will shear the sensor bar mounting blocks. The SkyGuard override switch is located on the platform control console. To check the SkyGuard, press on the SkyGuard switch with either your body or your hand. The indicator light in the platform box will illuminate. Either release and depress the foot switch or press the SkyGuard override button and operator function. To secure the machine, ensure that the machine is fully lowered. Both emergency stops are fully in and the key is turned to the off position and removed to isolate the machine.